Thanks to a new grant, ticket writing has gone from a handwritten task to digital, and it's also saving time and money. Run the license, scan it, print them out of warning, print them out of citation, get them back on the way. The electronic ticketing program eTix gives officers a speedier way to write those speeding tickets. Uh, it gives us more time to get back out on the road. Chief Terry Treshig is happy with how the software is helping his officers do their job better. By using technology, you work smarter, not necessarily harder, but they're always working harder because they have good technology, so it's a good thing. Each eTix system costs around $1,000, but the amount of time saved is invaluable. You always need to be looking for the future of, of what's, what is out there that works for us, works for the public, and makes it uh, just a, a more documented uh, uh, and a quicker, more effective and efficient way to do business, higher level of productivity. While we had some of the chief's time, we asked him about the latest progress with the new police headquarters. The drywalls are all up, they're working on all, it, it really has shape and form now and, you, and when you go through you can actually see where everybody's going to be and how it's going to uh, fit together. Our cameras had the chance to go inside the new space and from the looks of it, everything is right on schedule. In the last two and a half, three months, we pretty much finished all the site utilities. Um, gas company, we're still waiting to run the gas service to the building so we can fire up the rooftop units. Uh, finishes going on in the building, drywall is completed, finished paint going on, ceiling grid is in, uh, flooring is going down, uh, so we're pretty much on schedule to be finishing here towards the end of March. Keep it on Rockville 11 all this spring as we continue to cover the progress of the new police headquarters. One other initiative coming out of the Rockville Police Department has Chief Treshik reflecting. Yeah. We just got the reflectors in. They say Rockville reflects on them. We'll be pushing out the program, uh, designing some brochures right now. The idea is for kids and pedestrians to wear the bright green reflective bands to help keep them safe at night or early morning on Rockville's roads. It's another way of trying to make everybody more aware that the pedestrians and motorists and bicyclists alike are sharing the same areas and we just need to be very cautious. For more information on the Rockville City Police, visit rockvillemd.gov police.